first classic of the season. It's the 1,000 guineas for three-year-old fillies at Newmarket. Fascinating race in store here with the ground conditions going against many of these horses. So we've got Carry Amia Meadow for Steve Rand, Derby Rising for Davy Ladd, Diamond Encrusted and Duchess of Waterloo looking to go one better than their three runs between the two of them for Paul Rhodes, Finsbury Park for David Thompson, Golden Encore and their favourite Grovey Project for Craig Allen, illustrious Joshua Sutherland in a moment for Craig Beckwith, Magna Poppy Steve Ran, Orvida Blue, the Nelgwyn winner for Dan Hughes, Royal Seamstress Jim Murray, Sierra Cosworth, Dan Hughes, Taishad Santani, Vinnie Gerard, Unworldly Beauty for Leon Van Rensburg, West Modest for Dee Thompson, and Why Is the Cake Gone for Joshua Sutherland. Usually it's because it's been sat around me too long and I've eaten it all. But off they are. They are off and running in the thousand guineas here on the Roly Mile. Fascinating to see who's going to pick up this first classic when you're looking at the race card. You've got to think that Craig Allen, Dan Hughes and Paul Rhodes are going to be fighting this out at the finish. But on heavy ground, you just never know. So it's one of Jim Murray's out in the lead. Not the first time I've said that this season. That's Royal Seamstress. And over on the far rail, we've got in a moment... And on the, we're just looking for the favourite. Where's the Jolly Grovey project towards the rear of the field and just being bustled along for a few strides? There, the jockey wants that one to get closer to the pace. Golden Encore not far behind that. And uh, Sierra Cosworth is now trying to make a move through the centre of the pack. And the other grey horse in the blue colours for Dan Hughes is over towards the rail, or Vita Blue. The two Paul Rhodes runners are split on opposite sides of the track. We've got uh, Diamond Encrusted nearer the camera angle, and uh, Duchess of Waterloo's being ridden far more patiently over on the far rail. So we're at the three furlong marker already, and all Vita Blue has burst forward to take the lead. Winner over seven furlongs last time out, very different conditions today. And here comes Grovey Project, the favourite moving through the centre of the track. Why is the cake on in Duchess of Waterloo? Waterloo following that one closely and trying not to let the favourite take an easy lead. Or Vita Blue still fighting up alongside Grovey Project as well, but we're coming towards the furlong marker and Grovey Project moves on and kicks off into the lead and chases for the home and chases for this win in the thousand guineas. But it looks as though it might be starting to toil on the heavy ground. One bursting through the back is West Modest. Diamond encrusted getting forward as well, and they hit the line. It's West Modest has sprung a shock in the thousand guineas. I can't even tell you what price that one's gone off. Grovey Project just couldn't see out the mile on the heavy ground. Diamond and Crusted was flying home for Paul Rhodes, but West Modest bursts through the pack out of nowhere and takes it at 25 to 1. Takes it for 25 to 1 for Darren Thompson. And then we've got Diamond Encrusted in second for Paul Rhodes. Davy Ladd's third with 101 outside of Derby Rising. Grovey Project 44th for Craig Allen. And Sierra Cosworth stayed on well on the outside and finished fifth.